That's Foster hauling it in over the middle. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Robert Foster, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills are in for six. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and ten. A handoff to Barkley. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Second down, here's Manning. He's going to wind up and air it out. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Hey, hey, hey. We got three. We got three. Three down. Three down. Mind up, mind up, mind up. Check. Got three. Come on. Cut. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. That's going to set him back five yards. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Gone, 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 gone! Cut. Allen now looks to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the... Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. That one goes for 36 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. Right, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath, but nowadays... They're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Cut. Allen on first down. Left side here, caught by Clay. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. To throw, it's Allen. 
And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Robert Foster, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Bills turn that interception into a touchdown. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Hauschka adds the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Shepard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Open man right side is Ingram. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 38. Manning to throw once more. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 46. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Now let's go! Blue Lanny! Blue Lanny! So after the INT, it's Allen. Looking downfield for Jones. This is caught. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A big play there. 54 yards. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. throw and he's got it so the try for two successful and that bumps their lead up even further here's Hauschka now to kick it away this will be fielded on the back line of the end zone and from back there a wise move he'll just sit on this one and it'll come out to the 25 Here's the Giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Zebra, zebra, zebra. 
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll let it go. And that's caught inside the 35. Manning to Beckham. A big play there. And even 50 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. down is Allen. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game, and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 23, and he'll bring it back to about the five-yard line. And they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break, taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. They come out here in the eye. So after the INT, it's Manning. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And now running right through him. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now Manning. A little and he's got his man. Beckham. Touchdown, Giants. Beckham, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. So now Eli and the Giants will line up and go for two. From the gun, it's Manning, and it's intercepted at the goal line. 
able to get there and pick it. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Rosas now to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number. And we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays. And right now, they have a lead. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. Allen looks to throw on second down. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Manning now on first down. His throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Shotgun now for Manning. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Zone. It's Allen over the middle complete. That's McKenzie. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. A gain of six there Detroit, on first. Detroit. Another nice pickup through the air. And Detroit, I think a lot of people Detroit. might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Set, three, 19. Three, 19. From the gun, it's Allen. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Throw left side, complete to Foster. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A good pick up there. Eight yards Detroit, on the first down Detroit. completion. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. The 
Detroit! Detroit! And again, it's Allen. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big play here for the Bills. 44 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And incomplete on the deep ball. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, trying to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. Allen again here on second and ten. His throw caught at about the five. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Bills will extend their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late. And now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time? That maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now out come the Giants. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about Hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? On first down, Manning. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Manning again here on second and ten. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first and ten, here's Manning. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 20. Now a play fake here on first down. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Well, the obvious goal is to try and score a touchdown, but at the least, adding to a pretty big yardage total for his intended receiver there, huh? Yeah, well, when you've got a guy over 150 yards, <laughs> keep chucking it deep to him, I guess. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can get it to him short, and he can make plays that way, but I like what you just said. Throw it to him deep and get it in a big chunk. But incomplete on that try. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Forced out to his left. Completes it to Chris Ivory. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 32 that time. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, 
you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. The age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And how it turns out, it turns out. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. First down, Allen. Throwing left side, it's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one goes for 24 yards. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Detroit! Detroit! Ah! Now Allen again. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning, and it's picked off. He's now thrown four interceptions, and I hate to mention this, but he's a guy that has twice thrown five in his career in a single game. Hard to believe, isn't it? And the tough part is, playing in this NFL, you don't normally just back off totally from throwing the football, do you? So the potential exists for that fifth one to occur. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. And now again, the play clock's gonna run out on them. So they'll walk them back half the distance. Following the penalty, here's Stewart. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five yard line. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Four down, four down. Three, three. On second down, they run with Stewart. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. The Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 17. Manning now to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Manning going to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to...